Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico again, and today we are going to do a TPU product review. Let's get to it. Okay, so first impressions on this filament. So I've already opened it up. It's got a nice box. It's got a really, really nice box. Um, and I've ordered Solutech before, so it's got a nice spool. It's tightly wound. Um, it comes with this filament holder thing. Uh, the first impression on this filament is that it's it's not as stretchy, right? So it will stretch, and it'll come back to its shape, but it's not really uh, like elastic. So elasticity is low. Uh, flexibility, that's nice. That's real nice. So, um, I got the clear one and I have some post-processing ideas for this to make it nice and smooth and uh, make it nice and great for your armor. So I'm going to go ahead and load this and test it out on some things and we'll see how it goes. Okay. So first and foremost, please don't mind the mangled tape on my bed. Um, yeah. So, this is all on a stock CR-10. Actually, you know, it's not stock. I have a 0.6 millimeter nozzle upgrade that I put on there. And that is printing really, really nicely. That's at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I have not messed with any settings on the machine itself. All I did was mess with the slicer. And I'll give you guys the settings for those here in a little bit. But man, that is looking really really nice all right so it's done printing and first impressions is the elasticity is gone it's not like man you really got to pull on this thing for it to to stretch um it's pretty solid so the rigidity is still there so which makes this perfect for your 3d printed armor um, I sprayed this side with Plasti Dip, the darker gray, just to see um, if it's going to fill in the layer lines for the uh, uh, post-processing and make it smoother. It didn't do that. On this side of the lighter gray, I sprayed it with filler primer, um, and I think it'll take it. So I'm going to try other th methods to post-process this to fill in. See, I hope you guys can see that there's holes in there that um just i think it's from the printing the clog nozzle but i'm pretty sure we can fill these in with something to um to cover those up and make it nice and smooth so you don't see anything but it's it's good filament you guys now what i've done also is i printed it a 0.1 millimeter layer height so it's clear plastic so you guys can almost see my finger behind it and so I filled, I also sprayed on one side um, with filler primer and it, it filled primer is going to do well to, to post process this. Um, I just need to play around and experiment with it, but it's, it's good. It, it's a good filament, you guys. So this one I actually printed with, uh, again, 0.1 millimeter layer height and 10% infill, but just one shell. So this one is two shells. This one is just one shell and it's a lot squishier. Okay, now my nozzle is a 0.6, so this is actually 1.2 millimeter um, shells. This one is just 0.6, and so it's a lot squishier. Elasticity, still nothing, man. It's, it's not elastic at all, um, but it's perfect for your 3D printed armor. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. The next video is going to be on how to print the TPU. Uh, I'll show you guys my settings. I'll link it. Um, there's a certain temperature and a certain speed that you guys have to do when you're printing TPU. This is actually my first time printing TPU. So I don't know if it was luck or whatnot. Um, but on the next video, I'll show you guys my settings and what I do in Simplify 3D to get these, um, these results. And so here are two videos for you guys to watch. And make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe right here. And again, thank you so much for watching. Join us on our Facebook group at 3D Printed Armor. Link is also down below, and I'll see you guys there.
Peace out.